Hi guys, welcome back to Bok Bok Bouquet. This morning I was busy building these little frames right here that, that are going to be for our new grazing boxes. Um, we have these little salad bars for our chickens that we call grazing boxes where they just come and eat as they please right here. But we're going to just redesign it a little bit. I'm going to make it so that instead of having to lift the entire thing and having to plant the new seed, I went ahead and built some lids that are going to be on hinges that will open up like this. It wasn't my idea. I saw it on one of the chicken Facebook groups and I thought it was great. So we're going to go ahead and redo both of these grazing boxes. Right now they're really overrun by dirt because the chickens like to scratch dirt in there when they dust bathe. And uh, they got feathers everywhere because it is molting season. Everyone's losing all their feathers. So our yard looks like a hot mess. But yeah, first we're going to go ahead and turn these over. Let the chickens at whatever is left of that grass that's in there. Then we're going to go ahead and remove these screens. I'm going to go ahead and recycle them. And But first, we're going to go ahead and lift these up, let the chickens add it, eat whatever grass is left, and start fresh with new seed. So normally, that's what we're having to do. We just go ahead and lift the entire grazing box frame, and then the chickens go and scratch. They find worms. They like to eat whatever grass is there and move the manure around again. So we're going to go ahead and let them do that. We're going to add new potting soil, new seed, new fertilizer, and regrow with our new lids. So yeah, if the idea works, we won't have to do this all over again because it's a pain in the butt actually to... Um, having to put new soil in and having to reset that down so we could just have the lid open and close and yeah the yard's super messy kelly did rake three days ago and it's looking like this again huh hey don't film me if you guys do want to see how we built these grazing boxes i'll leave a link in the description or you can also click up here just about now we can show you how to, you can build these for your chickens so that they can't deroot your grass they can only eat whatever grows above it because you see here they'll completely demolish and destroy your yard and having these grazing boxes, we were able to keep that grass for over a year. It's coming together. We got some soil that we were using from some of our raised bed garden. And then we got some cow manure. We're going to drop some seed in there. And then we're going to let the chickens back out because they're locked up. Because they were trying to help out too much. And they were just in the way, actually. <laughs> and the finishing touch. I can't do it, but I'm <laughs> Alright, well we got our grass seed in there and this is exactly what I envisioned it being on hinges and opening and closing as we like. Right now it's being caught up on the rosemary bush right there, but this one too. We'll be able to just come in here and open it up like this, close it down, and then the chickens will be able to walk on here. When the grass eventually grows, they'll be able to just pick at that. And right now we just threw grass seed in there, just standard grass but occasionally we'll end up putting like clove and broccoli seeds, sprouting greens, and now we'll be able to very easily turn it around when it's all grown out. Just watering the seed here, and in just a few days, we should see the grass growing above the hardwood cloth right here. I hope you guys were inspired to build one of these yourselves. Like I said, if you wanna see a comprehensive video on how we built it, we'll leave the link in the description, and also at the end of this video, probably just about now up here, so you can click on one of those videos. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next week.